Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Windows Server 2022. So this is the first video that I'm going to be making for a VCP or a VMware series that I've been dying to do. And I'm going to try to make some time, really buckle down. I want to go show you guys how to set up a Windows domain, which I have many videos on, setting up the client, setting up the uh, DNS records, adding ESXi hosts, creating all that stuff from soup to nuts to get your VMware infrastructure set up, like multiple hosts with you know vMotion and, and what I'm gonna try to do is all these fun things. I'm gonna try to buckle down and get these done. I've been dying to do it. So we're gonna actually set up 2022 server today. I wanna to install that, get that configured on my network and I'll show you guys what I did, how I set up my network, how I set up everything so I'm on my VMware workstation, as you see right now. So let's get into it, let's go. So before we actually get started, I wanna show you exactly what I did. If you're using VMware workstation, if you go to edit virtual network editor, I have a NAT IP address of 192.168.99.0. That is the network that I'm gonna be using for these labs, okay? So pay attention to that, and that's VNIC8, uh, VNet8. Okay, so let's go ahead and cancel this. We're gonna go ahead and create a new virtual machine. And I wanna go ahead and hit typical, it's fine. I wanna go ahead and browse out to my ISO that I have on a little one terabyte drive. VMware ISOs, I believe I have it in here. It's Windows Server 2022. Those other ones are ESXi and stuff like that. So we can go to next, we can Windows Server, and we're gonna put server 2019 is fine. Okay, that's, that should be fine. And we're gonna put this win-2022-vm, okay? But I wanna put this in a special location. Well, let me go back to that location. So I wanna put it in here, and I wanna put vms. Whoops. Copy this and then paste it here. So I'm gonna put it on my D drive, Windows Server 22 VMs, and then here. Okay? Yep, that should be fine. I wanna assign 60 gigs is fine. This is probably gonna be a domain controller at some point. So let's do 80 gigs and then we should be fine because I have a one terabyte. It's split, that's fine here. I want to go ahead and customize my hardware. On the memory, I want to put, uh, I'll put eight gigs. Processor, I'll put four, just so it's a little uh, beefier. I want to enable virtualization, so virtualize Intel VT. And we're going to go ahead and hit NAT. We can actually go down to uh, custom, a specific virtual NIC. We can put it on VNIC 8, or VNet 8, so this is what we're going to be using. USB, that's all fine. Sound card, I wanna, that, that's fine, I can leave that. You know what, I wanna remove it because I don't care about sound. Uh, printer, I don't care about a printer. And obviously we need display, okay? So everything, everything else looks good. Hit close and hit finish. And this is gonna be our first machine that we're gonna install in this playlist. So we're gonna be installing Windows Server 2022. And let's power this bad boy up. Okay, I'm not sure how long this is gonna take, but once we boot up, you hit enter any key, and let's see how long this is gonna take. This is the first time I'm doing this with you guys live. I haven't messed with 2022. I, I, I do have Windows 11 set up on a laptop, and we're gonna install Windows 11 next. That's my, I wanna try to use 2022 as my server, Windows 11 as my client. Try to make it as uh, up-to-date as possible. We're in 2021, right? All right, so here we have uh, language. I want to go ahead and hit the default of English because that's what I speak. And we can hit install now. Okay. So once this is done, once this whole server is good to go, what I want to do is make a clone of this. So I don't have to do all this again. Okay. Uh, if I remember to do that. So 
what we're going to install here is we're going to do standard, but we're going to do with desktop experience, okay? Of course, with desktop experience, it gives you the GUI, the graphical user interface. Okay, we can hit next here. Pretty much installing Windows, uh, except the uh, Microsoft license. Go ahead and do custom install. And we have our 80 gig partition right here. We can hit next and let it go on its merry way. Installing Windows Server 2008, 2012, 2016, 2019, 2022. They're relatively the same thing, same process. You have to create a partition, you know, boot up to the ISO file and go on and, you know, go on and so on and so forth. All right, so we'll give this a few minutes. This might take uh, a few, so we'll resume once this is done, once it gets to the next step, okay? All right, guys, we'll resume here. That took about five minutes, so about an extra five minutes to install this. Now it's gonna install the updates. This might take a few more minutes, but I figured I would resume from here. So hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos, and if there's any recommendations that you guys have, you know, let me know. But yeah, so now the machine is gonna reboot. We can hit restart now and let it restart and then we can continue configuring, configuring, uh, configuring the, the whole process, setting up the username, setting up, I'm assuming, I never installed this. So this is the first time for me as well. So, um, and you can get the ISO right from Microsoft now. You can go to microsoft.com or just Google Windows Server 2022 ISO file and you guys can download it directly through, uh, through Microsoft. Okay, so it's gonna get ready. Let's see if we can just make this full screen. So we don't have to look at that, that extra piece of all the VMs on the left. All right, we'll give this a minute. I don't know, like I said, this is all uh, new to me. I don't know how long this is gonna take. Hopefully it doesn't take forever. It is running on a little SSD, so hopefully it's not as uh, not as slow. I was gonna put all these on a an older hard drive because I don't have too much space on my local laptop. But I was like, you know what? I have an SSD. Let's just do these videos with that. All right, so it's rebooting again. Probably gonna get started shortly here. Like I was saying, while this is booting up, if you guys have any recommendations or videos. Uh, these were recommended to me because I did a whole 2019 series, excuse me, of uh, setting up Windows Server 2019. I want to do the same with 2022, but I had some some uh, recommendations for, uh, for, for VMware. So I want to do some VMware videos, setting up VMware, setting up some stuff. And I want to set up the first server, which is an Active Directory server. So today we're just going to install the Windows Server and the next time we'll set up Active Directory on this box, okay? That'll be video two. All right, so let's set up my fancy password. Oops, I'm not that thing at that. Okay, go ahead, finish. And it looks like that, was, that wasn't too bad. All right, so let's do a little control delete. Let's go up here, VM. Control delete. That was uh, all right. So let's go ahead and put my password. And that was that's pretty much it. But before I let you guys go, I'll change my computer name and I'll install VMware tools so we get this this screen larger. See like how you see like the screen is very small. And obviously I have to change my time. I'll just do a few things. Okay, let's minimize this. Let's go ahead and hit OK. Yeah, here. That's fine. So I don't know where this is telling me I am, but obviously it is not four o'clock. Is it four? No, it's seven, 7.30 where I'm at. So let's uh, fix this up. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Right here, I'm gonna put this on EST. That's more like it. Okay, so next thing is, what we'll do is we'll install VMware tools. Right click on your VM install VMware tools, install. And once we hit install here, it should go to, uh, as a, as a CD-ROM drive right here, if we go to this PC, we can see here, right on the D drive. So double click this bad boy, and we should be able to install these tools on this VM, so we can make it bigger. It shouldn't take no more than about two, two minutes or so. It's not very, 
it's not very uh, it's not a very long process. All right, so you'll get this window. You hit next. I just do typical. Everything is default, and then it'll probably ask us to reboot or log out. And once we log out and reboot, everything should be jumbo, so I can see it because this is very very small. And like I said, in the next video, we'll set up Active Directory, and uh, and we'll go from there. All right. And then Active, Active Directory, we'll install Active Directory and then we'll install a Windows 11. All right, cool deal. Now that's a lot better. It's big, nice, hit finish. Yes, reboot, that's fine. It's gonna reboot our VM. And once we reboot the VM, we'll go ahead and log back in and we'll call it a day there. I don't wanna make this video too long because you know I can change the computer name. And if you don't know how to change a computer name, you know, it's very simple. You just go to computer management and um, or, or right click on start, go to setting or system. You go to your computer manager or your system manager. And then, you know what, let's just do it. And it, it doesn't really uh, hurt to do it. Let's just do it really quick. I just don't want to make this video too long. All right, so if you guys want to uh, watch to the end, I really appreciate it. If not, I understand. So server manager will come up. We'll make this larger. We can we hit this local machine. It's probably gonna have some generic computer name. We can hit on the computer name, change, and I want to change this to Win 22-DC01. I'm gonna actually capitalize this. Okay. So I'll do Windows Server 2022, and then hit. Okay. And there's all the stuff I want to do on the back end, but I'm not going to bore you guys with all that. And then we don't have to, I guess we can restart it really quick. And I want to make sure I get an IP address on my 192.168, I believe it's dot 99. Is that NAT network? I don't know, we'll see in a second. Cool, let's just do a little quick control delete. Log back in. <coughs> Excuse me. So we can just right click on start, run. I'm just gonna do a quick CMD. And I'm gonna do an IP config. Whoops. And yeah, 192.168.99.128. Obviously, this is gonna all change because we're gonna have a, a uh, IP scheme and everything like that, but we'll start that once we start installing Active Directory. This is just how to install Windows Server 2022, and we can just start all these. Now, I have uh, OCD when it comes to this stuff. I like to have it all green. Let's see if I can make these all green in a second. ESP. There we go. Now everything is green. Now we can uh, go to local server. Uh, whatever. I'll, I'll check that out. Now we have a new computer name here, Win22 DC01. DC and then, you know, we have a whole bunch of settings here. But we're going to be configuring um, Active Directory in the next video. Okay. So we can go to system and right here. We have Windows Server 2022 standard evaluation copy. All right, so that's how you install Windows Server 2022. Until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. And in the next video, we'll be installing uh, Active Directory on this box. Thank you.